right, here we are, mid-afternoon, early afternoon, handling several cars in the collection here in Arlington, Texas. Cloud cover is going to help us out a little bit here, which is going to make it nice for, uh, get a good feel and reflections, that kind of thing. Very nice, 1967 Buick Riviera, 9,200 and some change actual miles. I'm going to walk around and tell you about what we know about it as we walk around, but I would tell you this car has clearly left, led a uh, pampered life. They're only original once, as they say, and uh, this car is just really sweet. I've studied it. I've spent some time with it. We're going to get to the interior, and we'll share that with you as we go along here. Most, a good portion, and mostly all the upper surfaces on the car are original paint. This car spent, it's had a little bit of maybe fix or blend here over the years, that kind of thing. Um, but it's just beautiful, wonder, wonderfully straight. The door shut nice. The trim's nice. The, uh, these are the original Riviera wheels on it, the rally style wheels on it. You look at the trim, the wheel lip moldings, and when we get inside you'll see more. I'm pretty excited when you see a car like this because man, it doesn't even smell like it's old inside. Um, Windshield, I went through all the glass on it and took a really good look at that. I believe the windshield's the original windshield too with 9,200 miles. You could pick it for a little flaw here. Upper surface, a few little touch-ups kind of here and there. Um, down the side, I think it's had just a little bit of touch-up, maybe down at the lower portion. The bumpers and all the chrome, you can tell it's just got a little bit of age and patina, so it spent a lot of time in the garage in a nice environment, no doubt. Somebody's baby for a lot of years starts right up, runs perfectly. We'll actually run it underneath the hood, or uh, run it the engine for you underneath the hood. Shortly after our uh, discussion of under the hood, there's a little bit of a mark here on the on the uh, lower trim of the front fender. Power antenna still works. Just beautiful lines on a car like this. We'll get back to the office and study it more and see what kind of history we can pick up if we're able to pick up any but there's no question uh, looking at this and uh, statements from the owner this is an actual mile car said all the trim and bright works just beautiful doors shut like that all the seat upholstery and trim has never been touched in this car the dash trim carpet it's still very nice and it does not smell like a musty old car inside. It smells like this car would have smelled when it came off the assembly line or when it was a few years old, not uh, the headliner is very nice. Seat backs are nice, the seat belts are nice. I know I might get a little bit repetitive on this car, but uh, Courtesy lights are working in the back. We'll actually open up the consoles for you here. Sure, the ashtrays. Center console slapstick's nice. Underneath the hood is a uh, 430 cubic inch uh, four barrel V8 factory. Never been out of the rails. Turbo 400 automatic. Um, hydromatic automatic. Again, I believe all this bright work, this back bumper may have been plated once, but I doubt it. The deck lid here, you can see some crazing due to the age. Uh, in the trunk here, like somebody maybe sat something over, you can kind of really get a look, would take the most of it, but you know, it's original character is what makes this car special. It's not perfect and it's not new, but it is a 9200 mile original non-molested car. See all the G G GM uh, factory assembly stickers in the door jam. Paint in the door jam here. There's no paint lines on the quarters. Again, back seat, headliner. Courtesy lights are working. the fit all this bright where these door panels have never been off this car the bright work on the dash is just beautiful the steering wheel 
VIN numbers here on the door jam. I'm kind of reaching in there. 9,241 miles. Should get it up on the lift here for you. We never play the radios. I assume it'll probably work, but we did test the antenna. Starts right up. Antenna. Raises there. Goes back down. There's a light switch here. That's for this light, I believe. See the consoles, all the buttons work nice, the wood's nice. Slapstick here. Ashtrays and lighter. Just came off a of fast idle. Oil pressure is settling down a little bit. Half tank of fuel, amp gauge is working. I don't see the second hand moving on the clock, but that wouldn't be un unusual. Factory air car. Wipers. Forgot to turn off my light. Very nice. We'll get you underneath the hood here. Talked about during the walk around, this is just a really nice original car, 9,000 mile car. I've studied a lot underneath the engine compartment here. It's got the uh, Buick 430 cubic inch, four barrel V8 in it. It's a uh, quadrajet, four barrel is what it is, GM quadrajet. I don't think it's ever been out of the rails. We'd show you on the bottom side of the undercarriage here. But uh, no doubt in my mind, uh, looking at this, studying it. Uh, there's the original Harrison air conditioning tag on the firewall. This car has spent a lot of good time indoors, that's for sure. Still has the uh, manufacturer sticker or the date on the uh, inspector sticker on the plenum, air conditioning plenum housing, heater housing there. Has uh, power brakes on it, power drum brakes all the way around. Nothing's been modified or messed with. These are about 360 horsepower, about 475 foot-pounds of torque. There's a lot of horsepower underneath the hood of these cars. Big, beautiful cars. We do test the headlights for you uh, in a portion of the video, so hang on and we'll actually fire it up here for you and let you hear it run. Okay, we'll fire it up here for you. Starts right up. Runs great. Okay, turn them off. In the trunk, again, uh, original finish on the bottom side of the deck hit lid here. These are not reproduction stickers. Has the uh, original jack. Here, we actually loosened this up so we'll share the spare with you here. You'll see how the trunk well has all the original screws. This car's never been apart. Amazing cars like this. Spare itself. Rally wheel. Firestone uh, tires on it. There is a, uh, somebody sat a battery back here at one time or something like that. This could easily be recovered, this piece. All right, we have the rib up on the lift here, so we'll cover the undercarriage for you. Very much like a 9,000 mile, actual mile car should look like underneath here. Very solid. We cover up into the quarters here. We've been in the trunk and shared that with you. 
Still has the rubber drains on the back here. Floor pans are original. Original spiral shocks in the back here. I think you can still get those. Again, these are all original floor pans and wheel wells. Time warp. These are uh, original GM mufflers to it. Both right and left, the mufflers have never been replaced. Rockers, you'll see here. This is a uh, super turbine hydromatic transmission. In other words, a turbo 400, turbo hydro 400 automatic. All the body mounts are nice. Real deal, 9,000 miles, boys and girls. Talked about in the engine compartment, I don't think this engine's ever been out of the frame rails. Assembled just like it would have been at the factory. There you go. One more walkthrough.